Good evening, folks. How is everyone? I know my schedule has been an absolute and complete shit show, and I apologize, incidentally. That would be the international symbol for, um, I wasn't paying attention when I was chopping vegetables, and I took my fingernail off, because, well, I wasn't paying attention, and the knife is really sharp, and I went, and I'm like, I didn't buy red lettuce. Anyway, what are you going to do? Thank you for coming by and putting some eyeballs on here. You know you're my people, and I love you. I always want only the best for you. I want the big three. The big three for you. <laughs> it doesn't look right with that going on there. Um, yeah, we know where those came from. Anyway, I always want you to be happy. I want you to be healthy, and I want you to be safe. You know what else I want? I want you to like, share, remind, turn somebody on to this shit. Comment. Subscribe. The hell couldn't hurt. Anyway, we are going to take a look tonight at something out of a New Belgium box. New Belgium. One of those go-to breweries for me. I really, really like them. So when I see they have an interesting box up, I will grab it. This is their... Dominga Paloma Sour. And as we have found out, Paloma means grapefruit in Mexican. I have no idea why it means grapefruit in Mexican. I don't speak Mexican. Hell, I barely speak English on a good day. But you run across it and somebody says, hey, Paloma, you're like, oh, grapefruit. Which Usually I say, eh. not a grapefruit fan. I, I'm not a bitter guy, I know. You've been here before. Anyway, wood aged sour ale with grapefruit, hibiscus, lime, and grapefruit extracts. Okay, that could be awesome, or that could be just a complete shit show, because, well, what do we got laying around in the shed? Let's just throw it all into the pot and see what's going on. Uh, New Belgium Brewing Company for Collins and Asheville. The ABV on this is six, 12 fluid ounces. Government blah 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 bullshit. It's what it gives us. Their webpage is no better, which is kind of surprising for New Belgium. There was a, a time back, you know, a few years back, and most of these companies would at least give you a recipe. You don't see that shit anymore. Just kind of sad. It was always nice. So, featuring a blend of our iconic wood-aged golden sour with a refreshing and light wheat ale brewed with grapefruit, key lime, and a dash of salt. Well, where's the hibiscus? It says hibiscus on the can. You, you just can't get good help anymore. You know why? It's because we got rid of that beatings until morale improves rule. God damn hippies. Anyway, you know what time it is, folks. We're going to crack her open. We're going to do the pour. We're going to shoot the temp. And while we do that, we'll even get an SRM on this bad, this here bad girl. And while we are doing it, Roger Klein and the Peacemakers are going to play one of my favorite songs from Honky Tonk Union. Do you don't want to listen to it? You can always jump ahead two minutes. And, you know, I list all that shit anyway. So, let's do it, folks. The name of this song is Beautiful Disaster off of Honky Tonk Union. This is truly one of my favorite songs. Or you could just hang out. Will you be my Mary Magdalene? Would you be my American dream? Will you mix your perfume up from diesel fumes and gasoline? Be my sweet surgeon. Load the magazine. Let's shoot out the lights tonight. We've been waiting too long for them to turn green. Now take the wheel. The highway is clear. I got the front now. Don't be a diesel, never, never be. Till the 
245. So we have obviously pissed some people off, but hey, apologize. Great song. Actually, it's an amazingly good album. Um, very pretty beer. I was surprised at the lack of head on this. So, uh, the color, absolutely gorgeous. You saw we're drinking her around a 47. That is a beautiful, beautiful lemony color. Ooh, man, what do you do with a lemon? Tough call. So, uh, gotta be eight out. She has got to be eight out from 100 because we go Lovabon now. Thank God somebody came up with the Lovabon scale, made my life easier. Um, Maxwell Smart, Agent 13, right? We're going to call her a 13. That is a beautiful color, though. Let us slip her the Biden. I know you fuckers like that. And since they spilled it all over me, which is the same of his ass falling over. We'll stick the old Bidenometer in there. We'll get... It's Biden time. Biden time. You're not allowed to drink beer anymore. Your mama yelled at me. She said you're too small to drink beer. I'll sneak you one after we're done. How about that? Pirate dog. I'm surprised that hit me up for rum. Anyway... Let's throw the old Bidenometer in there. Let's get all Biden up on this and and see what you got to say. A really nice popping citrus nose, and it's that grapefruit citrus. And, 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 and but it smells sweet more than bitter. So sorry, I should have turned that fucking fan off a while ago. I apologize, my friends. She does smell good. She definitely smells juicy. There is definitely that grapefruit note in there. But again, it, it's... I dislike grapefruit. Grapefruit is not one of my citruses. Again, I don't like bitter, but she does smell sweet. You know the rules, my friend. If she looks like this, she smells like this. Got a slip of the tongue. We're gentlefolk. I didn't write the rules. We're gentlefolk. But they're good rules to stick by. So, salute. All right. Initial hit. She comes in. She's really not bad. Little on the sweet side. Little on the interesting side. Um... Within the first second, second and a half, though, right over to grapefruit. And I don't like grapefruit. If you like grapefruit, this might be good for you. But for me, oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Soil palate, intradentals, tongue, back of the throat. Now, to be fair, um, to be fair, she has an interesting flavor profile. The majority of that flavor profile is going to be the grapefruit. And I want to say, ooh, squizzy. And I want to say she's more like that. Pink grapefruit, right? So, you know, pink and yellow grapefruit have slightly different flavor profiles. She is more like the pink than the yellow. She is definitely about eight tablespoons of sugar on top of the pink. I know this because when I was little, my mother thought I should probably eat more grapefruit because grapefruit's good for breakfast. Grapefruit's fucking disgusting, by the way. It's not disgusting. It's just ugh, bitter. Your body will tell you what it likes. You adjust accordingly. 
Um, she's really not bad. So she's medium, medium fast. The flavor profile is all centered upstairs, nothing outside the teeth. So intra, soft palate, tongue, back of the throat. When she comes back up, you don't taste the beer. See me belch three times on this beer, but it doesn't come back up on you. Um, I mean, she's not a bad beer. She's just not my beer. I'm going to give her a fair shake. She has warmed up a couple of degrees. Again, I'm in Phoenix. It is, um, oh, hey, it's, it's Pride Pox month, so it's June 2nd. It's warm out. It's in the 90s. And the sun's down far enough where we can shoot in the correct orientation. So you're not looking at my wall that needs a paint job. She's really not horrible, but she's really not anything I would drink again. No. So, good for the style. She's not even particularly sour, which is kind of interesting. Because I really tend to like sours, and I like that sour bite. She doesn't really have it. Um, and that, that could be balanced out by the bitterness of the grapefruit, so I don't know. If I had to guess an IBU on this, I would say low. I want to say 30. Might even be lower than that, like 25. I mean, she's pretty smooth. Um, I like that douchebag that doesn't know how to tune his fucking vehicle. Holy crap, how do you drive something that sounds like that? Do you not pull the plugs and fucking clean them, make sure your gaps are right? What the fuck? As he keeps going. So she's clean. Clean-ish. Um, she didn't lace worth the tanker's cuss, though. There was no real head on here. Is she okay for the style? No, really not, because uh, uh, man, that's not true. We're going to call her a 4.0, just because I can't be sure she's not right for the style. I really like sours. Sours are some of my favorite beers. Um, it could just, and New Belgium is a great brewery, so it could just be they actually tempered it out like perfect. They balanced it like boop. But I don't know because they won't tell me anything. Stunada. Um, give her a four. We're going to assume that she is good for the style. Now, um, yeah, do I like it? No, but I'm not a grapefruit person. If you're a grapefruit person, you might very well find this enjoyable. Uh, would I drink this again? No. Would I buy this again? No. Do I want to try this on tap? Yeah, I'm a tap whore. I want to try everything on tap just to make sure I haven't fucked everything up. But a little one, tiny one, like not even a full seven ounce flight, like a four ounce tester. Even then, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like this beer. If you handed this to me out of the cooler, what would I do? I would hand it back to you and say, really? The best you can do? What else you got in there? You got some of that 1985? That 1985 is really good. We'll save it for the after video. So we're going to give her a four. She's not bad. She's not great. She's just not mine, is what it is. No, it's going to the brothers. Ooh, really no. She's warmed up now. Grapefruit becomes a little more pronounced. Probably up in the 50s. Again, Phoenix, June, hot out. And she is roughly 56, 57. I don't want to drink this beer at this temperature. New, new, new. 
Uh, really not my beer. Thanks for coming by and putting some eyeballs on here. You're my people, and I love you. What do I want for you? Say it with me. Come on, fuckers. Say it with me. Want you healthy. Want you happy. Want you safe. What else do I want for you? Come on, say it. Say it. You know the words. You've been here before. Honorable, dutiful, vigilant. You could thank PV for that, and I haven't heard from him in forever. Hope that fucker's doing okay, because he's a solid man. He was like the first of my southern brothers. Much respect, sir. And then, of course, the last three. What are the last three? You've been here. You know the words. Best advice I can give you are gray man. Remember, peacocks get plucked. Head on a swivel. Make sure you know what the fuck's going on. And that doesn't just mean here. That doesn't just mean here. That means everywhere, as much as you can. And then, of course, hot and handy, baby. That's hot and handy, baby. Hot and handy may very well be the way. Not that they will ever tell you to do anything illegal, yada, 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 yada. All right, I'm going to pause this and go take a leak. And then I'm going to come back. And we'll bullshit a little, because this ain't going up on bitch shoot anyway. Those fuckers cut me off all the time. Hold, please. Right, it lied. We're going to shoot a separate video. Thanks for coming by, fuckers. Catch you on the next one, if you... This is going to be on bitch shoot. Look on Rumble, look on Brighteon, look on Odyssey. Sure as hell is it going to make it on ScrewTube. Love you. Red means it's Friday. Good weekend, my friends. Make the best of it, because we ain't got that many love. Yeah, run. Juicy Hazy, baby. Light that fucking candle. Ha, 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 ha.